Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and in this video we're talking about the Day 30 episode of Praxis Prepper Alien Invasion. We're going to talk about some of the discussion points and the topics that were brought up in the episode, and at the very end I'm going to share with you, normally I would say a sneak peek of what's happening next time in the series, but this was the last episode of this season. We are coming back for a second season later on, but definitely coming back. We already have some great guests lined up and everything for that. Um, but this is the last episode of that season, and what I'm going to be sharing with you at the end of this video is the next series that's coming up, and it relates to what's going on behind me over here. But before any of that, if you haven't seen the Day 30 episode of Practice Prepper Alien Invasion, here's a link to it somewhere. You can click on it and find out what we're talking about before we talk about it. Okay, and we'll jump right in, but first I want to make sure I thank three people uh, who were really instrumental in making this process possible. Uh, we've always run at just about full funding uh, for, for the series. We've always been just above. And the three people that made it possible for, uh, for this week for me to release this episode to everyone were Suzanne, Roger, and Matt. Thank you all very, very much. They went to patreon.com slash practice prepper. And for as little as a dollar a month, they jumped on board and, and helped to make it possible for me to do this kind of stuff for you. If you're not familiar, the only reason I'm able to do these kind of longer episodes and really you know, the entire channel has benefited from it, uh, is from the generous support of people just like yourself who have gone there and have partnered with me to help keep this channel coming to you guys. In addition to giving themselves, you know, access to all the alien, alien invasion episodes and, uh, you know, just generally helping me out with the whole thing, they've also given themselves access to a lot of behind the scenes content. And uh, on the Patreon side of things, uh, we also kind of collaborate and work together on the different series. In fact, the next series coming up, that we just finished up a huge brainstorming exercise with everyone. Everyone was coming up with some great creative ideas for the next one that you know, I'm going to be explaining to you at the end of this video clip. Uh, and you know, we do a lot of things together over there. So if you want to participate more with this Praxis channel, patreon.com slash Praxis Prepper, you can go there and participate. So let's talk about what's going on in the Day 30 episode. First off, thank you very much to Canadian Prepper. He's been a a hero of mine on YouTube, he was one of the reasons that I started my whole channel, is I liked his channel, and I was like, well, if he can do it, I can do it. Um, but, you know, I, I've looked up to, to his content and to the way that he presents things for a long time, and I felt really honored that he was, uh, you know, willing to be in this, this final episode of the first season of Alien Invasion. So thank you very much, Canadian Prepper, for that. Uh, what I wanted to talk about in this episode, and I, what I think is, um, you know, obvious, is the idea of being unprepared. For things, uh, you know, kind of in the in the first episode, the Day Zero episode, uh, my character kind of talked about that a little bit. Where, uh, you know, I, you know, I find out about the aliens, and I'm kind of like, oh, geez, you know, I thought I was really prepared, but suddenly I'm thinking it's like, oh, you no, know, maybe I'm not as prepared as I thought I was. I wanted to come back to that theme because I think no matter how prepared any of us are, uh, you know, we're all going to get blindsided if there was a major thing, like, you know, obviously alien invasion, you know. Not very likely, but it would be a big thing if it happened. You know, major economic collapse, major disaster, crop failures, uh, you, know, you know, wars, anything like that, anything super major, I think would really blindside the vast majority of us, uh, you know, who aren't accustomed to living in conflict zones, which is what a lot of the world would turn into in a major disaster like that. Uh, for my channel, what, the way I think of it is, you know, we talk about these kind of things that are, you know, maybe more interesting, more exciting, you know, Aliens invading by bird flu infect infected clown zombies. Let's go to the clip. You know, we talk about, uh, you know, these things that are, you know, kind of a little sensational and, you know, you know, exciting. But really what I'm hoping for is that I can share prepping skills that are useful for the mundane things. You know, you have to evacuate your house because there's a forest fire. So you have a bug out bag ready for that kind of thing. You know, there may be a minor economic downturn, or even you just lose your job. That's an SHTF, uh, SHTF event for a family, someone losing their job. Having a pantry full of food, food preps and things of that nature can help you through that kind of thing. So I see a lot of this, um, a lot of this prepping is, lessons that I try to share with people is for, you know, just being prepared for the more mundane things and also, you know, getting out and enjoying uh, life, enjoying nature and everything. A lot of, uh, a lot of prepping and preparedness is being, you know, wilderness savvy. Uh, savvy. And I think there's a, there's a wonderful quality of life when you get more out in touch with nature and everything. So I see a lot of the benefits as being that kind of stuff. Uh, and, you know, if something really major ever happened, I would think that the lessons I share on this channel would at least help people. But I still think a lot of us would still be grossly underprepared for it. Uh, and uh, I wanted to kind of address that in this video. And I think that that's kind of like a first step, you know, to have that level of humility and to recognize that, you know, as, as great as you know, all your preps are, 
uh, as you know, better off than you know a lot of people around you that you may be. And I think that plays into it a lot. I think a lot of times we have the this tendency to want to grade ourselves on a curve. You know, it's like you see other people around you, and the fact that everyone around you is so so grossly underprepared, the fact that you're better off than them can make you think like, well, well, at least I'm not as bad as that guy, or at least I'm not, not as bad as that woman. As though recognizing the lowest common denominator and suggesting that you're a step above that, it, you know, is an equivalent with being in a good place. Uh, you might be in a good place, but the fact that you're better than somebody else who's worse doesn't necessarily mean that you're prepared for anything. So I think an acknowledgement of that fact, and an acknowledgement that no matter how great any of our preps are, and I include myself in this, we're all going to get blindsided, or the vast majority of us are going to get blindsided in a major event, you know, can be the first step towards, you know, maybe making a situation better for ourselves. And, and that's the idea, is always just making things better, because I don't think there ever is a perfect, but there always is a better. And that's what I hope that my channel is able to uh, convey to people, always stepping to a better place, uh, always being self-reflective and thinking about, you know, I know that I've done all these great things, but maybe I can improve. Those are all really important things to think about. What's up? I won't bust it. I'll help you fix it as soon as I finish this video. So anyway, that's what I wanted to talk about in this video. Let's reflect. You know, I know we're great. I know we're awesome, but I, I know we all have room for improvement as well. So the reason I'm in this environment, which is really terrible from an audio standpoint, I've tried to speak up during this whole thing, especially over this rock hammer, uh, is because this is what is going to be the next uh, series that I'm going to be doing. This is why I wanted to put Alien Invasion on hold, is because of this project, and this is building the homestead. I wanted to really focus on this new thing, and this is a new series, it's going to be called Devil's Countdown, and it's going to be kind of a mix of fantasy and reality. Obviously, the reality is building the homestead. And the fantasy element is that there's going to be a pandemic disease. Like, uh, my character, we haven't worked out all the, the you know, intricacies of this. In fact, a lot of this is happening over on Patreon right now. We're starting to, you know, collaborate on, you know, exactly how this, uh, this new series is going to come together. But there's a pandemic coming. I get a heads up about it. I've got a timeline, kind of a ticking clock to get this, this project done. So we're gonna be building the homestead, but with this kind of sense of like this impending disaster that's coming. Uh, so I'll be sharing the process with you, um, you know, but with these kind of fun fantasy elements that we gotta get put into there. And you know, not that a pandemic disease is at all fantasy. They've happened before, they'll happen again, maybe sometime soon, we'll see. But that's coming up in the new series, Devil's Countdown. It's gonna be uh, pretty much like the Alien Invasion series, like where I kind of play myself, but it's like, you know, kind of a character because I'm rea reacting to things that haven't happened in reality, at least not presently. Uh, and, but it's gonna be different because it's being shot with a different camera. I shot Alien Invasion mostly with this camera that you're seeing right here in front of you. But the new uh, Devil's Countdown is gonna be shot with a 360 degree virtual reality camera. And the reason I wanted to do that is because it'll give you the option to kind of look around and see whatever you're interested in, in terms of the build. I'm, sh I'm shooting the entire thing pretty much here. I mean, there's, there's some setup videos that are gonna be, uh, you know, at the beginning of it. But it's pretty much all here. And what I wanted you to be able to do is, as you're watching the video, I might be talking about something that's behind me. Uh, you know, there might be uh, construction off to the sides or behind you that you're interested in seeing. You'll be able to pan right around and you'll be able to check all that stuff out. And I think that that'll be a great way of sharing that with you guys. And you'll be able to really appreciate uh, you know the entire process and I also want to be able to bring it to you in a way where it is pretty much daily I, it's not going to be daily I, it'll be several times a week but I want to hit you with a lot of short videos like two three minute videos I, I'll stick to two and three minute videos because there's a, a recording limit on the uh, on the camera there. So I have to stick to two or three minute videos, but I'm gonna be doing a lot of them and having them come re repeatedly throughout the week. And this is gonna be different from a lot of other content out there because I know there's like, you know, build your own cabin in the woods videos, there's build your own tiny house videos, there's build your, you know, you know, sandbag, you know, home videos or cob videos or, there's a lot of stuff like about this topic out there. Um, so I'm not bringing anything new in that regard. Uh, what I am gonna be sharing with you guys though is the entire process. I really want it to be day by day by day sharing this with you guys. It, my goal is to have it be the most repetitive and boring video series that you could possibly watch. And I, you know, I, I mean that kind of as a joke, but sort of also as a reality. You know, like I said, I'm gonna keep them in short video clips. I'm gonna try to keep it as entertaining as I can, but also doing this kind of thing, there's a lot of repetition, there's a lot of boredom, and it takes a long time. And I think if you just watch videos where it's like 20 minutes of tight cuts and they do like 
like like sped up pictures of like well we got to put all these boards on this wall and it's like you know fast motion and then putting them all up you don't really get a sense of it uh, and that doesn't mean that I'm gonna you know show you eight hours of putting up boards again they're gonna be like quick clips but I want to show you day by day by day what the progress is really like to give you a sense of it if you're thinking about doing uh, your own homestead and I know a lot of you guys are I want you to go into it prepped prepared for what it was really like because if you go in unprepared and you don't realize the amount of time, the amount of steps, the amount of aggravation that goes into all this stuff, it's gonna be a real letdown and you may, the project may even fail because you weren't prepared for a lot of the things that come at you that are irritating and repetitive and just last longer than you wish that they did or are colder or hotter or buggier and all this kind of stuff. I wanna share that with you guys. So at the end of this series, my, my goal for you, I wanna share with you and make it feel like you guys have a, a friend that you know that went through it and you visited their site you know, every day and they kinda of gave you a heads up on what's going on. I want you to have that level of knowledge of what it was like for that friend of yours to go through it. So if and when you ever try to do it, you will be, feel fully informed and you can avoid a lot of the mistakes that are uh, you know, endemic to people who are new and starting out at this thing, you know, they don't realize all the pain in the butt stuff that goes into it. So that's what Devil's Countdown is going to be like. I hope you enjoy it. It's going to start up, I think, in January or February. I've got a few uh, kind of intro episodes I want to put together. Uh, I've got some uh, special guests that are going to be coming on just for that. Again, it's going to be a lot like Alien Invasion. I want to get special guests in for it and keep it fun, keep it enjoyable, keep it boring. I hope you guys enjoy it. That's it. Thank you so much for supporting me through Alien Invasion. Thank you for sticking with me uh, through Devil's Countdown. I hope you guys enjoy it. And remember, Alien Invasion is coming back for a second season. And there's a special Alien Invasion thing coming up um, on the last Friday of this month. It's kind of a bonus thing. Uh, you know, it's the kind of thing maybe that you might want to have available for like New Year's Eve if you're really bored or something. <laughs> Boredom's coming up a lot in this episode. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.